Hey guys, Dr. Matt Simons from Palm Beach Health Center. Today I'm actually going to start with a dad joke. What's the difference between ignorance and apathy? I don't know and I don't care. So today we're actually talking about the number one killer in America, which is actually called denial. Another title for this one is actually quit worrying about your health and it'll go away. There's a woman who was extremely successful in business and, and she spoke at a conference that I went to and just uh, she did it after she sold her company. She said, and she sold it for, for millions of dollars, that uh, you know, they were on a, a massive roll, they were making you know, big bucks and then she asked why she sold at the peak. And she said, well, actually, it's because I was overweight, I was diabetic, I felt lousy, I was in pain all the time, I was taking, you know, four or five medications. And she was thinking, you know, so what? I'm, I'm great, you know, I'm rich, but I'm going to be dead soon. So now she was saying, you know, that she has a lot less financial, you know, success, um, but she's using the rest of her life to make a difference, both in herself and in the world. And she's much, much happier. So the one thing that most disease has in common is it's actually our fault. You have to die of something, of course, at some point. But when you do, the first organ to quit is usually going to be the one you didn't take care of. Many of us are running around like nuts saying that we don't have the time or the money to spend on our health. But what the heck are we doing? It, it makes zero sense. You know, if we're complaining that we have no time, but acting like our body is going to last forever, but guess what? It won't. What you're not doing for your health today is going to put you in a wheelchair or kill you tomorrow. So denial is a wonderful thing. It lets you sleep at night and go on happily with your day, but denial is also the number one killer. So you need to start putting your health first, it's the foundation for the rest of your life, and then your activities second, and you'll improve so that you know, all of your activities will actually get better. You know, or you can just forget that you ever watched this. 60 to 85% of all cancer is actually preventable through a proper lifestyle, according to Dr. Barry Levin, who is the vice president of the Cancer Prevention Institute. Proper lifestyle actually means taking care of your mind, your spine, your exercise, nutrition, detoxification, rest, spiritual growth. There's a whole lot more to it than just you know, going on and winging it. Health is a strategy for success. And you need to make sure that you're planning out not only the rest of your health, but how the rest of your life is going to come around that. The biggest rock that you would have in your life should be your life. So this is Dr. Matt Simons, and this is one to grow on. Uh, I hope you, you learned uh, you know, and, and take action on making sure that the health is the center of your life, and you can work everything else around that. Um, so never say you don't have time, because that's just denial, and denial ain't just a river in Egypt. Have a great day.